what obstacle should I add to my dirt bike track? I'm giving you an opportunity to comment what type of obstacle I should add to my dirt bike enduro track for a chance to win a prize from yours truly. This contest is gonna run till May 1st of 2023. And here's what you need to do in order to get into the contest. Number one is you gotta watch this entire video. I'm gonna talk about the obstacles that I want to add. And two, make sure that you subscribe and you smash that like button. And three, comment below the type of obstacle that I should add to my enduro track. And that's it. This contest is not affiliated with YouTube whatsoever. This is just a fun contest for you guys to get an opportunity to win something from me, a prize pack. And I just can't wait to start the build on something very exciting. So the winner that suggests the best obstacle, whether it's whatever I list in this video, or if you have come up with your own type of obstacle or a different suggestion, by all means, you go and comment that below because I want to know what you guys would love to see. Not only that, but I'm also gonna be filming the build. I am going to be learning how to drive an excavator or a digger, whatever you call it, a small digger. <laughs> Um, and that should be entertaining and interesting to say the least. And if you're new here, hi, I am Angelisa and I absolutely love obstacles when it comes to dirt bike riding. I have built my own private enduro track so that I can ride it whenever I want and it's on my property. And we have a big stretch of land where we get to create and build some unique obstacles. So I'm so excited and interested to hear what you have to say. The one thing is, is I want to build bigger features. I want to learn how to tackle bigger features. And I know all of this is gonna apply to trail riding when I do get to go trail riding. All right, I have a full video of my enduro track of all the features that I have already. So if you guys want to see what I do have, you can check that video. Um, I'll post it up on the screen here. And so I go over all the obstacles that I do have in my track. So that way you don't comment something that I already have. So go watch that after this video. So what we'll do here is I'm going to list all the obstacles that I do want to build. This is gonna be the first obstacle that I build in the enduro track. I have so many ideas, but I'm gonna list five of the ones that I want to do first. So you guys get to choose which one that will be that I will start digging and installing the first obstacle. And I will show visuals on the screen so you get an idea because I don't know if any of these obstacles have names. So I'll just show visuals of what I want. Actually, some of the videos are gonna be of me too, <laughs> tackling some of the obstacles. Anyways, okay, let's dive into the obstacles, the first five obstacles that I want to have in my track. Number one is concrete pipes. I have tackled this style over at Cat Lake in Squamish at their Enduro Park. And I love both styles. So one of them is a large concrete pipe. And I learned how to tackle that in the Graham Jarvis video when I took his clinic. You can watch that video over here. So I found that a lot of fun. Also, when I went back to that Enduro Park, there was four concrete pipes put together. And this was interesting because you can approach it on both sides. There was a less steeper side and then a steeper side. And I loved that you can hit it both ways. And I couldn't quite get there with the steeper side. And so I wanna learn how to obviously lift my tire up before hitting the obstacle. So I'm leaning towards the four concrete, the four smaller concrete pipes because I found it really hard to approach it on the steeper side and that's just something I wanna work on and practice in lifting my tire up before the obstacle. And I mean, that goes for any other obstacle, but I just really liked that obstacle. I love both of them. The one concrete, the large one concrete pipe and the four smaller concrete pipe. So I'm curious what you guys decide, if you decide concrete pipes. Two rock garden love it or hate it i believe that this is something that all enduro parks must have and it's something that i want so whether it's going to be the first obstacle that i build or not i'm still going to put this into my enduro track now this is something that obviously is going to help with your riding and your technique when it comes to riding some rocky terrain 
and I have found that my technique and skills have progressed because I've been hitting the rock gardens wherever I go. It, either at Cat Lake and Duro Park or it was at Bear Creek. There were some larger boulders in the rock garden and we were still able to tackle it. And I was so proud of myself because that's something that I was very timid with. So um, yeah, rock garden, whether it's gonna be the first build or the last build of the summer, but it's gonna be put in. But again, curious, should that be my first build? Uh, number three is boulders. This will be set up differently um, than the rock garden. So what I want here is to pop over boulders, rocks, however you wanna call them, and have different sizes. So starting small, medium, large. And this is gonna be the same style as doing a, I guess a log hop or log punch but obviously on a rock and eventually I wanna learn splatter technique, but that's a goal for like in the future. <laughs> um, I just want to, again, just get my precision down when it comes to lifting that front tire. So having three different styles of rocks to pop over, I think is gonna help. For concrete barrier, I have never hit one of these and they scare me, but again, I think it would help with the splatter technique that I do want to get to eventually. And I think it would be cool to approach it from all four sides. So you can approach it from one side or the other side, also the skinnier side so you can incorporate balance drills. So I think that would be really cool. Number five is a log matrix. I have so many logs and I tried to do a zigzag matrix, but my husband did not like it. Actually, a lot of people that were riding my private track did not like it. So a log matrix is something that you would see in most enduro parks as well, along with a rock garden. And it's just something that I believe will help with uh, approaching logs when you're doing a trail ride. So yes, we will eventually be putting in, but again, I'm curious if that should be my first build for the season. So I'm gonna stop here. I have so many more ideas that I do want to create in my enduro park, but these are the top five that I, sh I believe that should be the first build of the season, but I'm curious what you're gonna pick. And also I have to wait until our, all the snow disappears <laughs> and also the ground is frozen right so this contest is going to go till may 1st so comment what obstacle i should build first and it, again if you have any suggestions on any other type of obstacles comment below and the winner will win a prize pack from me and also a video about it so again i'm going to learn how to use machines and build a pretty rad obstacle and if you have any other comment suggestions on the track build, let me know. I would love to hear it. Oh, I'm just so excited. I'm so excited. It was my thermometer was saying that it was 23 degrees yesterday with the sun hitting. I mean, it's freezing now, but the snow is melting. So I'm very, very, very excited. Speaking of snow, I went to Bowen Island for a girl's dirt bike trip and we got snowed in. We tried to dirt bike. It was obnoxious, it was crazy, it was slippery, it was slick, but we still had a great time. So you guys can go check out that video on the screen here and <laughs> give it a like, comment, let me know, would you ever ride Bowen Island and or would you ever ride in snow if you guys had a snowstorm? My nose is running. But until the next video, life is a ride and be the vibe. Keep killing it safely and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.